a complete beginner's guide to setting up the Facebook pixel on your Shopify store. Hey, what is going on everyone? Sri Kanase here and welcome to another Shopify video. And this is going to be a fairly important video because in this video, I'll be going over exactly how you can set up your Shopify stores pixel so that it is correctly connected to your Facebook business manager. For any new Shopify store out there, this is the number one step that you should be doing right after you open your Shopify store because this is the most important at least if you're planning on advertising on Facebook to get traffic but if you're new to this channel like always make sure to smash that subscribe button down below so you stay up to date with the quality content that I put out basically every week and don't forget to join my free Facebook group the link is in the description below it is a Facebook group of like-minded Shopify entrepreneurs who want to make a killing out of Shopify it lets you connect with other people with the similar mindset and journey as yours. So definitely do join my group. And without further ado, let's jump right into this video. All right, so guys, so what I did was I went ahead and created a brand new Shopify store. I was originally going to use the same Shopify store that I used in my part one, two, three series tutorial on creating a brand new Shopify store from scratch. If you haven't checked that out, make sure to check that out. It's really a bomb series full of value but what happened was the trial period for that Shopify store ended so I decided to start fresh in order to show you guys how it's done but right after you register your Shopify store this is the exact screen that you're going to see this is your Shopify dashboard and where all of your sales and all of the messages the important messages get shown and on the left is a full menu of the sub menus for your Shopify store but once you have created a Shopify store the next step for you is going to be to create a brand new business manager account if you haven't already it is super simple all you have to do is go on google.com and just type in business manager another thing that you can type in is Facebook business manager but either will give you the same results after you type that in this is the second link that you see and this is where you have to register a brand new account so when you click on that you'll be redirected to the business.facebook.com and this is something that you need in order to get your Facebook pixel I have already created a brand new Facebook business manager for you guys for this tutorial but what you're going to be doing is simply creating a brand new account and once you create a brand new account you'll be taken over to the Facebook ads manager and this is exactly where the ads are created I have created a brand new business manager account but once you are on this page the next step for you is to go ahead and click on this drop down menu on the top left when you click on that you get a bunch of various options the planning, create and manage, measure and report, assets, settings, etc. Under measure and report, our main goal is to click on pixels because this is where we're going to be creating our Facebook pixels. So we'll go ahead and click on that. It'll take a few seconds to load. And once it has loaded up, this is what you should be seeing on a brand new business manager account. Go ahead and scroll down until you can see the green button which says create a pixel. This is what you want to click on. And once you click on that, it's super easy. You just want to give it a name. Personally, I like to name the pixel whatever your store's name is. And this is just better for you so that if you do plan to make various different stores, it can be easy to track which pixel is for which store. So for this specific tutorial, the store I have created is Indian Lord. And let's just type this in, Indian Lord Pixel. Simple as that. Click on Create. And it should get created within a few seconds. And the Indian Lord Pixel has been created. So let's go ahead and install some code for your Shopify store. The next window that should pop up is this one right here, which gives you various options of setting up your pixel. For the setup method, we want to go ahead and click on the first one because as you can see, Shopify is mentioned on this one. So go ahead and click on that. And when you click on that, just go ahead and click Shopify. And it should be super easy. They actually give you a full tutorial for connecting your Shopify account and setting up your pixel correctly but if you're a visual learner like me you're going to benefit much more from this video so once this has loaded up you want to scroll all the way down and just click on continue and again scroll all the way down and this is where you're going to be giving your pixel ID so once you're on this page go ahead and copy this pixel ID and go back to your Shopify store dashboard in your dashboard you want to go ahead and click on online store on the left once you click on that, this menu should pop up and from that menu, you want to go ahead and click on preferences. Scroll all the way down on preferences and until you see Facebook pixel. And where it says Facebook pixel ID, this is where you want to go ahead and paste that Facebook pixel we found right here on this window because it is our pixel ID. 
So let's go back and click on save after you enter your pixel ID. And when you get the settings saved, you are good to go. Once that's done, go back to your Facebook business manager and go ahead and click on continue because we're not done yet. So in order to verify that your pixel is installed correctly, what you want to do is enter the URL for your Shopify store. So for me, it would be indianlord.myshopify.com. So let's go ahead and copy and paste this. So copy and paste it. It may be different for you. So whatever your Shopify store's URL is, you want to go ahead and click send test traffic. And it should take a few seconds for it to send some test traffic and go back to your Facebook pixel. And as you can see, it is now active. The red circle has turned green and it says last received in the last hour. So that means you are good to go with your Facebook pixel and everything has been installed correctly. So go ahead and click on continue. And we don't need to do this because we have already finished setting up the pixel. So go ahead and click close and you are good to go. Whatever traffic that comes onto your Shopify store is now going to be recorded in your business manager. So now you are ready to start creating some ads for your Shopify store. So this was a quick tutorial on how exactly you should be installing your Facebook Pixel in order to maximize your results with your e-commerce store. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button down below. It literally takes two seconds, but it motivates me to put out even more videos just like these ones. And I'll see you guys next time.